final, the best of five for the Kiwi Challenge uh, Series 1, yeah, New Zealand Dota Challenge. I am currently flying solo on casting, so hopefully uh, somebody will drop in later on and uh, just just start talking away. I have invited a number of people, but um, everyone's currently just occupied just at present. The finals between uh, Team Liquid and Team GD. Um, Team Liquid taking the extreme long route to get to the finals, um, losing the first round, but then winning every round afterwards, all the way through to the final, um, having playing the maximum number of games all the way through. Um, all the way through. Uh, GD taking the short route, uh, Taking out the winners brackets and uh, I'm expecting this match to be an extremely good match. Um, Diet showing excellent form all the way through. I've followed their games through this through this event. Um, GD haven't seen many of their games, but the games that I have seen, they have absolutely dominated. They're, they're, it's black and white. They're, they're, they're pub stomping <laughs> in, in a tournament in a team game as if it was a, if it was a um, if it was a pub game, um, should expect to see big plays in this game. Very tight game. I'm not expecting to see a one-sided match at all. But it is a best of five, so pe they may play with some unusual t strategies or tactics. You may see a number of people playing um, heroes that they may not normally play. Again, I'd like to thank um, the organisers of the the event. which without we would not have an, anything to watch. Um, if you're not aware, there is a New Zealand Facebook community um, run by a guy called Jim, I believe. Um, if you you play Dota, you like Dota, you live in New Zealand, um, and, and you, you want to get involved into that community, then I, I, I highly recommend you go on to facebook.com slash Dota2NewZealand um, and sign up to that page. Radiant Team Ban. And we Diet see GD banning out that Batrider. They know that Diet can play a good Batrider. And Diet themselves choosing to burn out SD. Um, they don't want to face that in SD in any potential lineup. Ten seconds are they going to let the Rubik go through? Are they going to let the Magnus go through? These are questions that are running around in my head. We know remaining. the power of Rubik. It's been a strong player all the way through this event, particularly for Reserve GD. Time. In a number of their games, um, Fresco's GD has just, uh, Rubik has just totally dominated the Radiant. game. But no, both of those get through. Um, and we're going to see one Diet of them at least being picked pick. up by Diet right now. Diet picking up that visage Radiant with so team. many strong plays in the last three games. You know, when they played us, we would dominate it. We threw the game, but you know, I've said that before, but they really took it with their, with their plays with Visage. GD wasting no time, immediately picking up Gyro and, and, and Nyx. Radiant team ban. And that Alchemist for Diet being one of the best, you know, it's a hard carry, but one of their best players plays plays Alchemist. You know, in all the games that I've watched, that Alchemist Ten has always been able to get remaining. far, no problems. His his with his great supporters he has there, he's easily Five been gonna be, be able to carry remaining. this team through to the late game. And on the other side we've got this you know, Gyro is a very soft carry. How well is he gonna go? Um Nyx for the off lane, good support. They just those may be more of a deny <gasps> picks than actually structured picks for their themselves. Dire team ban. <coughs> Radiant team ban. Diet choosing to ban out um dragon, uh, dragon knight. Is it? They have a plan for their mid, and they know that they don't want to face up against dragon knight. <coughs> oh, and that good clockwork ban. We know Diet has 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 a leniency to has leans towards those strength heroes and we quite often we see Nyx or Alchemist with clockwork but in this case you're not going to have either 10 seconds remaining 5 seconds remaining reserve time Not much really for me to say. Like I, like I said, I'm flying solo at the moment. Hopefully, someone will come along and and, and start talking and and making more sense in myself. I'm I'm not the best the best player myself, so I'm hoping someone with more experience will come along and uh, help co-cast very shortly.
what combos are we gonna see? What combos are we gonna see? Dyke taking the time here. Uh. Radiant team pick. Not revealing too many strategies here. You know, we we know that they're both just revealing what's going to be in their trial lane. They're not really revealing too much. No one will, really wanting to give away who their mid's going to be, who their long lane's going to be. Lone Druid still on the pole. GD loves their Lone Druid, so are they going to pick up their Lone Druid for the long lane? Ten seconds remaining. Queen of Pain. Dire team pick. I think this is going to put a Dyer in a tough situation. Who their mid's going to be? I think they were really hoping to pick up Queen of Pain from the mid. And there we go, Rubik. Radiant team pick. Finishing off their trialing with that Rubik. That seems quite strong. Dire wow. team pick. Ejikiro, great, 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 great pick there. This, this, this tri lane, which was probably going to consist of Nexus Assassin, Jiro, and Jikira, it's got a lot of lockdown. They're going to be able to really secure those stuns, keep those those heroes in place, as well as being able to um, have enough threat to keep um, anyone off the off the Jiro, allowing him to get that free farm to be able to carry them into the late game. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Getting up a bit of a reserve time. Seems that um, Diet is thinking a lot more clearly, uh, more strategically about their picks um, in comparison to previous rounds. Um, they've never run below 20 seconds of reserve time and they've still got picks to go. Look, they're really starting to get tight now. They're gonna run out of time. Puck. And they've chosen to puck versus Queen of Pain. Is that gonna work out for them? I've seen their plays. I haven't seen a puck from them yet. So this should this could be an interesting um, play uh -huh. play here. And as a GD choosing to ban out the long drone instead of pick up for his own offline. I guess they've got they've they've got um, their long lane as their last pick as an option. Picks from GD coming out really snappy, really remain. quick. They know exactly how they want their structures to be. With that, that's almost out of reserve remain. time. It's going to be a random ban if they don't pick something soon. And they miss out reserve on that ban. Time. Sorry, it's not a random, random ban. They just completely miss out remaining. on it. Five seconds. <laughs> Radiant team pick. I apologize. I'm Windrunner at your service. Time. Dire team pick. And the Windrunner in long lane, long lane. What are they going to throw up against this long lane? Really solid team here from um, GD. Really, I really think that there's a strong lineup that they've got there. They've got an amazing tri lane with their gyro, with their Nyx, and with their Jinkara. Really good mid gonna have a tough time as Puck versus Queen of, Queen of Pain. Both of them have that flexibility to blink around and dominate the runes. Remaining. And you got Winner Runner in the long run. Five seconds remaining. Admiral Conquer! And out of the left field we have a Conquer! Prepare for battle! And everyone's purchased up. Uh, looks like we're seeing an offensive tri lane here from Diet. As opposed to a defense. Uh, Conquer taking mid. Conquer taking mid, leaving Puck for the long lane. Uh, Puck up against the Queen of Pain. Uh, I look like I'm not the most experienced player, but that sounds like it's going to be a tough for both players. Um, both players really being able to wreck each other. 
But I guess if you're if you're Queen of Pain and you time the splashes, you can get in and f and, and finish them off while it's on cooldown. Um, whereas with <laughs> you always run that risk that he's gonna splash when you're around. She's so much so squishy. Thirty seconds to battle. Look, GV really looking to preserve their own jungle. They need this. They're going for a defensive trailing. They really want this. They need it. They need that farm for the jail. And the horn goes, and everyone starts transitioning to their lanes. The battle begins! damage in this bottom lane it's protected this offensive tri lane coming in there yeah question being asked why is puck in the in, in the solar lane oh look at this pretty tense everyone's getting in each other's face straight off the bat quite risky for both teams ah, to do that ah. given the, the high level of stuns on both on both of this lane so the answer to that question is Puck is in the long lane because Puck needs a solo lane. Um, I don't know. They made the call. Their, their team. I probably personally would have put Puck in. And in the mid, you can see here Conker taking damage already, already having to blow Tango. And comfortably wear this. <laughs> easily force back, easily push back. He's, he's still staying within XP range, but he's not really going to get any farm. This Queen of Pain's really going to dominate him in the middle. Um, but that may be part of the strategy. So far, everything really tight. Everyone, everyone tests. Everyone jostling for position. Oh, we see Skyler going in here. The lockdown. And does he get away? Or is this going to be first blood? Excellent, excellent coordination there from G. They heard the pop from the Alchemist bottle. They were trying to lock him down in place, stun him in place, so that he would be killed by his own bottle, or at least stunned by it. So as soon as they heard that, they unloaded. They knew to go. Wow. Well, you know, as I say, this 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 Queen of Pain is gonna really hurt hurt this Conker. His splat just really, really punishing this quad. But you know, as as predicted, she goes. She gets an early bottle, and she's straight out to picking up their, those runes. Chitty having a stack camped on the bottom here. They're in a good position to pull if they want. They're gonna let it go through. They're gonna go for a triple stack potentially. No, they wanna have that up their sleeve. They're they're afraid of a dive. They don't want it to be dived while they pull. Oh look, and that, that tree being eaten just reveal reveals that uh, are just sitting on the other side. And they rotate slightly to the, the far side of the lane. This is where the game's gonna. Be. This is where the attention needs to be. At least this, these two try lane. Let's have a good. So far, uh, GD picking up a little bit more CS. The least not too great at this stage, uh, but you can see. Queen of Pain picking up the, the CS and also uh, Windrunner be beating up both out Conker and, um, and, and the Alchemist. But you know, Alchemist doesn't need that much CS to keep stay, stay competitive, you know? He, he... With Greed, he can really, really, really hey, hey, catch up quite easily. Look how tense it. They're all just looking for. They're looking for position. He's out of position. He... No, they don't take the opportunity. Oh, premature, premature bottom. All the cooldowns are down, no one's gonna go. Everyone backs up. Conker beating the Quop to this rune. That four minute rune, I think that's... 
Dyer's middle tower is not what it used to be. Oh, this that is for certain. But this cocker under a lot of damage. He's getting that. Is, is he going to get nailed? Is he going to get through? He's trying to duke around the wall. And she decides to abandon that chain. Middle on the bottom. Oh wow. Oh wow. Tactical pause. Tactical pause. Really, really, really unfortunate. Frisco there getting hit by the stun just before the rocket hitting um, diet thing. This looks like it's going to be first blood. Ice path is on cooldown, so you can't save him with an ice path. Jaira's got no mana. He can't just rush in there and try and get, get a kill for himself. This is... Looking pretty bad. All they have to do is just right click him. But no one's got any mana, so no abilities to, be, to finish him off. It's gonna be, have to be a right click. He is, however, stunned. With uh, half a second left, or 0.3 of a second left, he's definitely gonna get right clicked down. That is first blood. Probably not gonna go into the Alchemist since he's already stunned. It will be picked up by the Visage. No GD's line up. Really winning all the lanes um, across the board. But hey, it's, it's, it's still early games. Anyone's game. First blood. Yeah. First blood. More shall come. And picked up. Axe is impressed. I pick up the first blood right there. That was just unlucky timing for GD. It is a best of five competition, so hopefully they won't take this as a psychological, the psychological downpour of this and get all sort of upset about it. And just play on. It's only the first thing. Puck really struggling for mana in the top lane. He needs that mana in order to be able to to, to main, remain competitive with uh, GD. With, uh, with the Windrunner. But you know, they're sitting at uh, relatively similar CS, so that's pretty good. I don't think so. Oh, look at that. Stun, followed by a freeze, followed by a rocket. They really want, they really want this outcome. And you know, they're flat killing going down on the on the rubber. If they they really want this alchemist, they really, really want, want him to go down. Look, if they just picked off one of the supports, such as that Rubik who was out of position on the right, they probably would have got it. But they just really want to drive that alchemist away and hope hopefully kill him. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack! Could have been going for trying to go for a gank on top. Surely missing calls. Surely missing has been called. Very little mana on on this puck. He's gonna hover around the tower. The puck's only got 700. If the screen paint wanted to, she could jump in. She could she could unload on him, and he would probably die. But she may die also. Yeah. See, so good missing call. Everyone's just pulled back slightly to make sure that there's 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 it nothing going on. Hit the bottom, the bottom, the bottom trail lane. That aggressive trail lane still pushing forward. They're sure he's top. They've got war they've got uh, ward coverage. They they feel relatively safe. And their DDD expiring on the Queen of Pain. Couldn't make use of it, unfortunately. And that's just allowed that cocky just to to catch up a little bit. Really wasted endeavor, unfortunately, for um, Peter Payne. TP into into bottom. Um, still really looking for this kill. Uh, was that too early? I think that was slightly too early. 
Oh wow. The, the, just not being able to coordinate all their damage. Well enough. And a huge stun going down on the on the pit. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're not gelling as well together with the coordination of those abilities. Radius like typical, middle tower is under attack. They're going for that alchemist. They want that alchemist. Could have easily had probably both those supports. Sure, it's not the it's not the it's not the it's not the carry. A gold advantage would then help them creep up. Well, we see Team Rinwood just really dominating this long lane, sitting at the most CS. Everyone's still playing really, really tightly. Graf's not really saying much at all this early in the game. Hello. Okay, yeah, we're looking for the 10 minute rune soon. Not sure what this visage is. Oh, he's rotating mid. Don't want I just worry. Everyone doing exceptionally well, given how aggressive both teams are playing. But just, a, just a, few, a little bit of a misplay here, I think, by. My GD, the Queen of Bane going top. Much off. like Cordwood before Axe's Axe, Not Dyer's up. top tower is under attacks. Not really being able to secure that, um, secure that gank when, he had DD, when she had DD. GD still have this camp stacked? Uh, happy just to let Radiance let Middle down. Tower is under attack. I think the potential for being being dived is just too strong. Both this Queen of Pain and this Kunk are taking. They're just tra trading blows. Yeah. This bottom's where all the action is. You can tell this game is a much more intense game. Denied. Not only is it fun, the teams are of a higher calibre. And we're at, we're at the 11 minute mark with only one dead. Whereas in the quarter final, at the 12 minute mark, we had already had 13 dead. Uh -huh. oh. They look like they're gonna try and get this gyro. <laughs> and his support is coming in to save him. Oh wow, Fresco out of position. Silent. Stun. They're gonna unlock. Wow. Excellent play there. Excellent play. Jaru just coming in at the last second and picking off picking off a couple of kills. Three kills in fact. Three for none. GD returning to four. Dyer's middle tower is under attack! Thankfully with that good rotation in from the Windrunner. Able to get their right shackle at the right time. Uh, good evening. How are you? Welcome, my co-caster. I think nautical. What's been going on, man? Is this our first match? Ah, this is uh, second match. Is nah, it? this is the first match. Best of five. First match? Yeah, this is first match. This is the first match. So far, very intense game. Uh, are you currently in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just watched that last team engagement as where Gyrocopter got the double kill from a pretty awesome ice path from Jakiro Wrigley. That's all I could get from it. Yeah. I was uh, doing dishes over watching it. So yeah, just gonna um, introduce classic, classic. Couple of things I found really. In classic is uh, gonna be my co-caster for this particular battle, and probably maybe use the night depending on how he feels. <laughs> That'd be a tough ask. Um, one thing I'd point out straight away is uh, Kunker's build. He um, hasn't done really that shit hot um, in the mid lane. I assume he was versing Queen of Pain. That's correct. Yeah, um, 
Oh, could be a combo hit. Oh wow, nice. Oh no, pop the wind run in time, so face the physical damage then. Still gonna rack yep. him down. Yeah, um, one thing I'd like to say about Kunkus Radiant is he Little Tower is under attack. Um, that's a massive mistake, especially going against the Queen of Pain. You know, you're never going to be able to kill her. Radiant so you must Little Tower right is under attack. Um, and he just got a couple levels off that engagement, so that was really only level one until the last minute or so. So pretty weak laning presence, and but surprisingly, Queen of Pain is only on 32 CS. Yeah. Assuming she's been ganking a lot. Yeah, like top lane right Radiant's now. Alchemist is about to kill himself. Get it? Get back! Get back! Get back! That's a dead alchemist. Oh, chemical rage! Oh no, she blinks back and gets Radiant's the kill. Radiant's middle no. tower is under attack. Hard case. The only reason Kanko's doing any well, you missed the earlier, where they were laning. She left with DD to try and go get some ganks and just couldn't get anything, and allowed Kanko just to get a little bit of free fire to catch back up because he was being you know, dominated early phase. Um, with the CS. Yeah, I'd imagine that that's just why Queen of Pain is such a strong area, just that one level in Shadow Strike, and it makes, especially melee mid players, it, they make, it makes it very hard for them to even contest CS. A um, couple stacks of that, and that's your region gone. So, um, Kanka's about to get Illusion Rune here, see if he can do anything with it. Oh, uh, good. Oh, denied. From Jakiro. Yeah, Jenny really showing their form. Um, through the event you've seen, we've seen, we've been following a lot of the Dire games, they've taken the longest possible route to get to the final. Dyer's top tower uh, is under That's possibly given GD a... G possibly given GD a bit of, a, a bit of an advantage. Also given that, um, the only game that they have actually lost was to GD in the first round. Dyer's middle tower wow. is under attack! And, um, not that I'd like to talk about it, but we lost first Dyer, did we not? Ah, oh, yes, we lost first Dyer. Was that... That wasn't last night, was it? That was... Yeah, that was last night. Was that a uh, best of three? That's correct. Okay. I'm kind of going for Diet then, personally, because they played so fucking well. Sorry, they played so well uh, yesterday. They probably really deserve to at least get to the... Maybe... They... It's just as if they wow. three. They deserve... And to be honest... I really like the late game of Diet. Um, Park and Kunkers go shit. You know, and then, um, what's that spell called again? Um, Coco's Rum. That it makes Kira's such a Kira near impossible to die in that game. Oh, look at this. It's Radiant's almost gonna be a team wide here. Is under attack. The familiars are probably just gonna right click him down. Yeah, nice kill. The Kunker. red mist spreads at Radiant's this middle much. tower. Look at that. Four for none. Um, Diet really making a presence in the battlefield there. Yeah. You know, like I said this in an early cast, that these guys they've played almost a thousand team games together. Radiant's uh, top tower is under so attack. They really know when they should, you know, instinctively keep fleeing or to, to just turn and just turn observes on. carnage underway at Radiant's top tower. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, I think it's really shown in that last fight. I only caught the last part of it, unfortunately I was um, not looking at my keyboard while I was mambling on about nothing. I was not looking at the computer screen, sorry. But yeah, um, you know, we've versed them, we've seen them play several games now. They're a solid team and they know what heroes they like and they play them and they execute them very well. Yeah, you know, like, Visage, so great. Uh, early, early game today, just like with our game, domination from the Visage. Wow, very easy pick off there for uh, Queen of Pain and Nyx Assassin. Um, this is why it's so dangerous to go up against the Nyx, you know. Vendetta, scout the kill out, hit and pale, and it gives Queen of Pain, it gives uh, even Windrunner a power shot lineup, or it can give Jakiro a nice path for setup. He is such a not overpowered hero and definitely not underrated, but just one of the top support heroes out, along with Visage. So, um, I've got very nice heroes in this game.